They gathered together in Galveston to pray for a retired teacher who was found stabbed to death earlier this week. The suspect arrested in this case, the woman's adult son. New at 10 o'clock tonight, we are hearing from the victim's husband who spoke about the life that was taken too soon. Our Keith Garvin live outside Ball High School, the site of tonight's vigil. Keith? Dominic, more than 300 people showed up for the vigil here outside of Galveston Ball High School. And they held it here on the sidewalk, right outside the classroom where Desiree taught before she retired. There were tears with hugs, with singing, along with memories shared in the tragic loss of a beloved wife, mother, and longtime Galveston ball teacher, 61-year-old Desiree Hartnett. She was a gift of God, but I appreciate y'all coming. God, it's such a wonderful thing. Of course, I sort of knew a lot of people would be here because that's the... The love that she had for everybody. The vigil was held at the high school Thursday evening for Hartnett. She was an ESL teacher in the district for 31 years, and her students and family say she made an impact in every classroom. George Sanchez says Hartnett was the reason he returned to school after being expelled more than 15 years ago. She was just special. She went to my house, knocked the door, and said, I'm, a, I'm going to court with you. I'll make sure you get back into school. Hartnett was stabbed to death earlier this week. The suspect is her own son. The family spoke of the need for forgiveness tonight, but for now, the focus is on the life Hartnett lived. I knew so many of the people here today because they hung out for no reason other than to just spend time in her room. Yes. That's the person she was. And that's what I want her to be remembered as. And here outside Galveston Ball High School, you can see the tribute that is growing for Desiree Hartnett. The candles and the flowers and also the balloons. A wake is scheduled for her tomorrow evening beginning at 5 o'clock. Reporting live from Galveston, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Keith.